It's miraculous ladybug time! And we can't forget about Cat Noir, I always say just ladybug, although the show is actually miraculous... Wait, miraculous tales of ladybug and Cat Noir? Wait, is it not even mirac- I thought it was just miraculous ladybug and Cat Noir. Have I oh god. <laughs> My whole world has been turned upside down. I've now done a video watching both the highest rated episode and the lowest rated episode of this show. And in the comments, people were asking, please, please react to Oblivio. Obviously, I have no idea what it is. It seems maybe like a sad episode, so... I don't want to cry. <laughs> Please don't make me cry. This show is just full of surprises and by the way, people keep asking me to react to the movie. I've actually already watched it. My girlfriend wanted to watch the movie with me, so I did. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do a video on the Miraculous Ladybug movie. Before we start though, I wanted to let you know that I've relaunched my Patreon recently. I've been posting some full uncut reactions over there again, so if you'd like to see my reactions in their full glory as well as hear me swear uncensored, if that's your thing, the link is in the description below. You should also Join my Discord, by the way, the link is in the description below for that too. Let's go! It's Oblivio time! In an elevator? Well, that's terrifying. God. The very first visual is her waking up in an elevator with just stuff scrawled on the side. Tell me this doesn't just seem like a horror movie. I mean, it's called Oblivio. I'm guessing it's got something to do with memories. Oh. All right, that makes sense. He said, who are you? She doesn't know. I'm guessing he doesn't know either. So if they both just completely had their minds wiped or something. Me neither. He's like, but I am a cat. Same costume party. <laughs> costume party, that's adorable. Why is that flashing? And your earrings too. Oh, that's when they turn back, right? <laughs> I was literally about to say, I'd be like, what are those bugs? And her reaction was that there are bugs. They do like, I mean, I guess they, they, they look like mammals, but I'd assume they're bugs. Look at those weird antenna. <laughs> Wait, I have a bone to pick with you, Andrew, by the way. In the last Miraculous video, I used the word Akuma to refer to them. And I was like, no, I think that's wrong. I'm pretty sure there's another word. And you're like, no, 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 that's right. You said the right word. It's not, Andrew. They're called Kwame. The Akumas are the butterflies, the evil butterflies. So... You made me look stupid. Apologies. I mean, I, I, knew one of them was. <laughs> I said you made me look stupid as though I needed help doing that on a, on a regular basis. <laughs> Bug mice. Bug mice. I am starving right now. Hi there. <laughs> oh, Adrian's so nice. What's that thing doing in my earring? I'm not a thing. I'm, huh? I don't know what I am. Why are they so cute when their memories are wiped? A little, no thing. <laughs> Okay. Straight up tickling it, like giving it a little scratch. We'll I'm saying like a horror movie and I just, that was a jump scare, okay? Elevator jump scare, made, made me flinch. Man, it would be kind of cool if like a large portion of this episode just took place in this elevator. I'd love that. Oh my God. Can't stay here. Couldn't agree more. They are like far less panicked than I would be. I'm not going anywhere until I know what smells so good in that boy's shirt. Is it cheese? Is he obsessed with cheese again? <laughs> oh. What? She just fixed it. Okay. Well, I mean, like, something was banging on it, right? Like, it looked like something was punching down through the roof of the elevator. And then it collapsed, but they didn't show what it was. But I'm just out here, like, they would have literally died. I don't feel like characters have really been in mortal danger so much that I've watched in this show. I mean, you know, yeah, someone was trying to drag the earth away so that it would like entirely cool down and I guess freeze everyone. But it didn't really, didn't really feel that real. That did, they, they almost got crushed. <laughs> Damn, they're making distance. What? Where are they? The exit is blocked. We're gonna have to find another way out. <laughs> yeah, something is chasing him. Okay, we're stuck in a building with amnesia, being chased by a, a <laughs> thing that's obviously got it in for us big time. Not to mention the two strange creatures who. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't even like mention the magical beings. You know what I realized that's cool about this episode is that they're here with absolutely no memory. So they have no idea what's going on. We're in the same boat. I have no clue what's happening in this episode. I might as well have had my memories wiped. Uh, excuse me, but the creatures are hungry. 
Would you mind opening up your shirt to see what smells so good? Oh, that's a creepy line. What? It was cheese, of course. It's the most Is he gonna inhale it? Please don't just... Where the where there's no shape in your stomach. You just okay. Will this do? What is it? Thank you. Oh, a macro. Thought it was a bath bomb. <laughs> oh, we got a name. My name is Marinette Dupan Chang. Pleased to meet you, Marinette. <laughs> Adrian Agrest. Super nice to meet you too, Adrian. <laughs> she cuts. Why is this adorable? They're actually really cute together. Bones. Brilliant. This is what always confuses me with like amnesia things is they've forgotten their names. They've forgotten their passcodes to their phones. They don't know anything about them or the things that they have. They've forgotten what Kwamis are, but they still remember what phones are. That's what like, I mean, obviously you need to know something to progress the plot, but I feel like I've not seen an amnesia episode of anything where they've pulled out a phone and been like, what is this magic brick? <laughs> Zombie? What is it? Oh man, are we not gonna see what the creature is? It's some unseen threat. Till then. <laughs> oh, they blushed. Is it gonna be some tiny thing? Why do I feel like that's the case? Oh no, it looks big. We. Will get you. Man, it, it was so quiet for a second there, and the way it was looking around, I, I'm I'm on edge. I, I was ready for a legit jump scare. <laughs> they are so uncoordinated in a really adorable way. Why is this making me want them to be together? Generally, from what I've watched, I've been like, man, I feel like they have like no chemistry. I get that they're like into each other and whatever, but I just haven't really been like, yeah, they make sense. But here, they're really cute. I like them. I want them to be a couple. I feel like everyone wants that, right? But I guess they're just a bit too oblivious. <laughs> Just we go upstairs. But there's no way up there. We're gonna get trapped again. Good. Jump off the building. Wait. Oh, I thought they were going to the roof. Hide out here while we signal for help. Good idea. No handle. And the glass is tinted. They won't be able to see us. Smash it. The phone lines are down. Hold on. If the, oh, never mind. I just realized the Kwamis have also lost their memory because I was like, why aren't the Kwamis just like, hey man, turn into superheroes and just like destroy everything? I realized that, yeah, they're like, oh, we don't even know that we're magic beings. Only I can remember how to unlock my phone. Wait. <sighs> <laughs> work, I don't know if that would actually work. If you're able to do that, wouldn't it show like at all of the times you've touched it, not just the stroke? So like any time he's typed, there'd be thumbprints everywhere. Who should we call? I'm almost out of battery. Me too. We should call our parents first. <laughs> like which one is, oh, because surname. He's not going to answer, is he? This is Gabriel. <laughs> to leave a message, please call my secretary. Let's hope you have better luck than me. Why wouldn't you try calling anyone else? Marinette, are you okay? They're saying on TV that Ladybug and Cat Noir are battling a supervillain at the Montparnasse Tower. Isn't that where you were going on your school trip today? Ah. Uh, where are you? Uh, sure, Mom. Everything's okay. I'm guessing she's put together that she's Ladybug, but that the parents don't know. Stay there until the supervillain's been defeated. Sure, Mom. I will. Love you. <laughs> She's like, we're superheroes. The good news is, there are superheroes in the tower that will stop us. <laughs> the bad news is, we're the superheroes, and that thing that's chasing us is the supervillain. <laughs> we're supposed to be defeating it with superpowers we no longer have. I guess at this point, you'd probably conclude that the little magical creatures has something to do with you being a superhero. But I will say, it would be terrifying to be in this position and then have to learn or accept it like that just in order to face the danger. I also love that this is a really confined episode. I said earlier about it being in the lift, but I like that so far it's just all been in this building and it's just been those two essentially. They would have been like so many cheap gags and stuff you could do if you let them out into the world without them knowing who they are but I really like this it's a real focus on character nobody we must have missed something. oh that sounds like Gabe Gabriel yeah Ladybug and Cat Noir can't have escaped. So he hasn't lost his memories. And with their memories erased, you won't have any trouble getting your hands on their miraculous. So he's erased their memories to make it easier? What about us? Do you think we know? Hmm. I feel like we're more than just a superhero team. <laughs> now you're crushed on each other in different forms. Looks like it. <laughs> then we must have told each other everything. I couldn't hide my identity from the girl I love. Oh, that's so cute. So why are they adorable? I have no idea. You 
can't just leave. <laughs> I love how they're just like floating and hanging out. Uh, I mean, as they show them though, obviously there's something going on, but they kind of just look like two buddies chilling, looking out a window. I don't want to help out a couple of strangers. You may not remember who you are, but at least you know this about yourself. You are... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, you, you clearly were like working with them considering you had helped them transform. That's one thing that you know. You know what else you know? It's being chased by some evil supervillain thing. So like, even if you're like, oh, they're strangers. I don't know, if I, if I wasn't a superhero and I was stranded in an office building with a couple of strangers with some weird, scary thing chasing me, I'd work together. I wouldn't be like, I don't know you, F off. <laughs> I am not a coward. I I'm a free spirit, so don't come if you don't want to, but I'm out of here. Oh, he's just ditching. Okay. I don't think we should hold our breath. <laughs> wow, he is gonna... Wait, I just realized that both now Cat Noir is gonna be very exposed, but Hawk Moth won't be able to get his miraculous, right? Cat Noir, we know we you're in here. here. You will get Who is the we? Who's he, like, merged with? Don't tell us you've forgotten <laughs> us. <laughs> Terrifying. I hear a, like, a woman's voice in there? Is it Natalie or something? I hope not. Why is he calling himself Oblivio? I'm not convinced that this monster is really our best friend. <laughs> Obviously not. We're superheroes. He can't find out about our secret identities. Right. Oh, yeah. I forgot that, like, they didn't have their outfits on. Wait, I thought that was only something she could see when the Kwame was with her. I'll call you, and when he comes, we make a run for it. <laughs> Use the tape to pull your phone back. Ready? No wonder I fell in love with you. <laughs> I mean, he... I get it. It's cute. But also, like, you know nothing about her. <laughs> He's just such an easy, simple simp. I don't know. I, I, I kind of love it, though. <laughs> I love them scheming together. Uh, uh, gotcha. You shouldn't have forgotten to switch off your Wait, how does that How does that help them? <laughs> no. Oh, it's just a distraction, right. Why is this why, why still hold the cup? Oh, oh smart. Okay, damn. But it's not gonna work. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that was also very smart quick thinking. Let's head back to where we were. It's the last place they'll think of looking for us. Just double back. What is this like 4D chest they're playing? I feel like they've never really had this level of complex thought. It's very it's been quite simple. See thing, punch thing, or like use magical eraser to fix it, or blast it with energy of your cat noir. This is like real smart forethought. Perfume, what? Why is he everywhere and why is he flying towards it? Sorry, your phone's out of juice. No worries. <laughs> We're doing pretty well, even without powers, don't you think? It's true. You two make a very effective couple. <laughs> it's so cute. We're gonna have to become Ladybug and Cat Noir again. Maybe we can gather hints by watching some news. I mean, to see what happened before here. Actually, yeah, I just realized that the Kwamis wouldn't even know <laughs> how to make themselves useful. They just know that they exist. They don't know oh, how do I transform them. I feel like that's info you need. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the cop. I am. Oh, other people's memories have been erased. What do I do? Uh how did the parents still know who their kids were then? Olivio has been erasing the memories of everyone he comes across. Oh, so he hasn't come across them. Makes sense. Ladybug and Cat Noir are toying with you, Oblivio. Oh. You can't manage to find them. Oh. Hiding, Hawk Moth. Oh, that's not him. He's talking. Oh, damn. How did I not realize? So he's akumatized someone and is communicating with them. Man, I wonder I wonder who it is. It kind of sounds like that. I wonder if it's Natalie. What are you doing? Is that to like erase everyone's memories? Stop calling us a couple! Huh. <laughs> Don't exactly look lovey-dovey in this footage. Probably just a regular fight like all couples have. <laughs> the battle against Oblivio continues. <gasps> oh, oh no! They're funny. Has been hit, but Ladybug pulls him out of danger. <gasps> oh, so that's... Right. That was when they both had their memories erased. I thought there would have been a bit of a delay, but that was like seconds before <laughs> they were fighting Oblivio. I saw it earlier when I was looking for my mom's number. There it is! 
you left yourself a message. You're so smart. Is that the the guy who is the keeper of the the miraculouses? I can't remember who I am or who you are. Oblivio has erased my memory, but I think I'm supposed to call you. You did the right thing. Is Cat Noir with you? Yeah. Well, Adrian, actually. Ah, you do know your true identities, uh, then. We're not supposed to. That's okay. The miraculous ladybugs will repair everything mm -hmm. anyway. And the miraculous ladybugs will, I'm assuming, change their memories again? And they'll repair everything, including the fact that they know who each other are? I mean, we know what happens if they know each other's identities. We figured out we're superheroes, but we don't know how to make ourselves Ladybug and Cat Noir again. Oh, Mr. Turtle, you'll have to tell- Mr. Turtle. <laughs> one of them, the red one, is with us. Okay, listen carefully. The red Kwame's- It's gonna cut out. She gives you your powers. Say, Tiki spots on, and you'll transform into a ladybug. You'll find an emergency user's guide in your bug phone. Adrian. In bug phone. Okay, I, I thought that he said butt phone. Uh, glad that it was not. I didn't realize that saying the catchphrase is what turned them. I thought that that was just something they did for style and flair. I actually forget what Cat Noir's one is. His name is Plug. Tell him, Plug, claws out. And claws out. All right. You won't be able to transform without him. Rip. Well, I guess one superhero is better than none superheroes. Is he gonna feel bad? That's terrifying. Maybe this Adrian boy has some yummy camembert left. Why is he even lying to himself about his motives? If you don't come out of hiding and give us your miraculous, this giant bubble's gonna erase the memories of every single person in Paris. The whole city. How powerful is this villain? She's gonna be like, what do I do with my powers now? So she still knows how to slay at least. <laughs> there seems to be a kind of button here. User's guide? Wait, the bug phone has battery too. How does she charge it? Does she plug in her superhero magic phone? Lucky charm. Ah. <laughs> uh, what is a teapot for? What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what? Maybe it's her <laughs> face. Her face as she said that. What am I supposed to do with this? Make <laughs> It's like it's a perfect mix of confusion and panic. It must just be one part of the solution, but how am I gonna find the solution? What if she like smashes it? Or is it magic tea? It's time for action. What, what is what is her plan? Just spring it into action. Oh, he's got a pipe. But you don't have your Kwame or your superpowers. But most of all, I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Oh, <laughs> starting to understand how much you mean to me, Adrian. Why is this so damn sweet? And it's gonna be so sad when their memories go back to normal. Miraculous Ladybug is just playing with my heart. Ladybug has gotten her powers back, but not her memory. Seize her miraculous oblivio. <laughs> Super so the gun just deletes their memories, right? <laughs> Coming up for the point blank shot. What is he? He's putting together something? I have no idea where that's going. You've forgotten your reflexes, huh? Now we're gonna make sure you forget everything else, including your miraculous. There's two voices in there. There's a, uh, who are they? <laughs> I'm excited to see them be deacumatized. Although maybe I just won't even recognize the characters if I don't know them. Huh. He's made a box outfit. <laughs> I mean, at least he makes a good distraction. Any help in hey, he's back. And you got here just at the right time. Black, out. Is he gonna be fabulous again? He gets so fruity with his transformations. I need to say it. <laughs> the way the tail flaps. <laughs> hey, pretty cool, right? Very cool, but try not to lose your memory again. I mean, what would it matter, really? <laughs> I always forget about his stick. What does your power do exactly? Apparently I can destroy anything I touch. <laughs> for me if you don't mind. That's not gonna be easy, ma lady. <laughs> <laughs> it was his first milady. His left hand is different from the rest of his body. That must be where the Akuma is hiding. Ah. Got no idea what the Hakuna Matata is? <sighs> he just say Hakuna Matata, okay. I mean, it isn't that far off, but also like, I hadn't even thought about where the Akuma was. I forgot that that was even a thing that they needed to locate, but how did I not pinpoint it on the the the, 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 the big arm cannon thing? So what's the plan? She's gonna use the 
teapot? Wait, why is it highlighting him? She's like, here, take the teapot and smack his arm. What's the teapot? Oh, so he can't. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Couldn't they have just held on to his arm? Who's it gonna be? I need to know. Man, do you need all the flair? Couldn't you have like just grabbed it real quick? Oh. Fixed. Oh, damn. I didn't expect it to be those two. What? Doesn't like akumatizing sort of unleash their own anger as well and generally have something to do with how they perceive themselves or whatever? So why were they deleting memories? Do you think we'll remember all this afterwards? Apparently my miraculous ladybug reverts everything, so oh. I'm guessing we won't. All right then. With your permission, milady. Are they gonna kiss? Oh. Wait, what happened? Oh, I, I, I thought the flash was them losing their memories. Oh my god, that's so sad though. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> They're like, wait, well, hello? Wait, so will that photo still exist after they fix everything? Oh, it li literally fixes everything. Uh, Ladybug? Cat Noir? God, you haven't seen a supervillain named Oblivio, have you? <laughs> you defeated it already, dude. Actually, he was us. They must be so confused. Found it? Found it. <laughs> you make a good couple, don't you think? Otherwise, we wouldn't have won again like we always do. So they don't remember any of that. I've already told you that I'm in love with another boy. Is yeah, him. <laughs> Oh gosh, that's so embarrassing. But I, would, would, wouldn't that have had the late bugs gone reverted to? I thought the whole thing was that it didn't happen. Or, or it did, but they just forgot. Everyone saw that? This is a disaster! Yeah. What on earth Delete the photo for them, man. We're meant for each other, milady. You're the only one who doesn't see it. Oh, that's so cringe. I hate that a lot. The love you both secretly have for each other will be your downfall. <laughs> He's just so evil, like so cartoonishly. Well, I mean, cartoonishly evil. It makes sense. We're sorry for what happened today. Were you two Oblivio? Why did you want? How did they know? Well, we went and hid to play some. Aww. Casino, but Miss Bustier caught us, and and you guys make fun of us for playing that game, saying it wasn't our age and all. <laughs> it all started because they were embarrassed about a game. It's no biggie, you know. Julika and I often play Super Penguin. Yeah, no, no biggie. You know, becoming a super villain. I actually kissed Cat Noir. How could this have happened? Who knows? Maybe you still have some things to learn about him. <laughs> Clearly. He finally fell in love with me, and I've forgotten all about it. <laughs> You're right, that's really... That is very sad, overall. You know what? It doesn't matter. If it happened once, it can happen again. Oh, that's a cute outlook, though. My dream can come true. He's still cringe and weird and very forceful, but that was a really cute line. Be like, well... It happened once, it can happen again. I don't know, them together. I, I, just, I still want it, even though Cat Noir can just be such a dick about it and he's just like really smarmy. In the episodes where I've seen them be a thing, their chemistry is great. They work together really well there. And again, yet another character giving me Ken energy. There's something about it, he's just like, I don't care about anything. I just love Marinette. <laughs> or I guess I just love Ladybug. He's just obsessed and doesn't even care about anything else in the world. I like it. <laughs> that was really sweet, but I'm glad that it didn't like hit me in the feels too much. It kind of ended with like, I don't know, a relatively nice note. It wasn't like sad and bittersweet. It was just a really well put together episode that had a satisfying conclusion. I liked it. It was fun. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you next time.